Good morning, Modern Status. Today we have a few little projects we need to take care of around the Modern Homestead, and we're going to be doing a little bit of behind the scenes video later on for our live giveaway video we're doing. Stay tuned. Let's go in the off grid outdoor kitchen and get our plunger assembly that we need to repair. We need to get this taken care of. So this side, you can see where the glue was, and you can see there's some uneven wood. We're just gonna repair it and clean it up. Looks like there were some staples in there. We're not gonna use staples, but we'll take the old ones out, clean up the old glue, and then we'll put it back together using glues and screws. All right, let's get a pair of pl cutting pliers. Let's just cut. These are in hardwood, so we're not going to be able to pull them out. They're rusted up, and they're not going to come out easy. So we're just going to cut them off. And I'm going to take our grinder and sand this down a little bit. And get the glue off and every little bit of the staples. Now that we have this all cleaned up, let's just put it in place, check it over, I think that looks good. We gotta find some screws now, and we'll screw it down from this way, let's see what we have for screws around here, and then we'll glue it and screw it. Now that I have the two pieces placed together, I'm just going to mark out with a pencil where the top plate is going on the plunger assembly. So what's going to happen is the screw pot is going to hit here, this bottom plate is going to press against the apples. This is just to give it more rigidity and strength, so when you press it on it, just being this thick wouldn't help. So we're going to pre-drill this base plunger area because this being this is maple and it's too hard to drill through without pre-drilling the holes first. Now that we have it marked out, we can figure out how we want the screws to go and we'll know where the edges are. I'm thinking a layout like this would work nicely. Not a hundred percent sure that this is the size drill bit I want with the plunger on it. We're just going to pre-drill a hole in a piece of pine. Let's see. It gives you a nice hole for installing a plug, which we're not going to do, but I want to be able to countersink the screw head. I like that. I don't need to go that deep, but that's the perfect size. I'm going to pre-drill from the back side, and then I'm going to flip it over and counter sink the holes on the other end.
these two pieces being hardwood, they are made out of maple. We want to clamp it all together after we have it all glued. I'm just going to apply our glue. They say you don't need that much glue, but I've always been a person who I'd rather have too much and let it squeeze out and then clean it up after. When I built furniture, I used to get in trouble for doing, using too much glue. But my glue joints never failed. I'd rather have a joint that's not going to fail then. We're going to get as close as we can to our pencil marks. When you go to clamp it, it's going to want to move around on you. So we just got to keep an eye on all of our pencil marks and keep making adjustments as needed. release that. One of the best ways I found to wipe down glue joints is with a chisel. Just take your chisel, scrape it up against the glue, and just drag it. Then you can take your rag, You want to wipe it down while it's still wet. Glue is a lot easier to clean up when it's wet. Once it's hard, it's like a rock. And believe it or not, most of the time if your glue joints are done right, the wood won't break on the joint. It'll break in a wood grin because the glue is actually stronger than the wood now. I'll let this dry at least a day and then we can clean this up with the water and vinegar solution and our cider press will be ready. Look at the patina on that side from pressing up against the apples and getting all the tannins out of the apples into the wood. That's just got a nice golden color to it. Those screws are countersunk nicely. For our celebratory 10K subscriber dinner. We're making, from scratch, a modern steader chicken stew. Right now I'm just mixing some flour in with the butter. So we tried going gluten free for a while. We didn't see any huge effects, so we're slowly adding wheat back into our diet. But we're adding good wheat into the diet. We're not just going with any junk gluten. We want to make sure it's good, clean, organic. Now we're going to thicken up the stew. We got this going this morning when we woke up. Let it sit in the crock pot all day and now we can thicken it up. We do this about a half hour before we're ready to eat. And then we let it sit and it thickens up nicely. You guys are getting a behind the scenes look. This video is two days past the live video. So if you watched the live video, we were making this Friday and this video is out on Sunday. Our videos are two days old, just in case we have conflicts with work and we can't get it uploaded, we have time. I was doing them the same day or the next day and it didn't always work out with work. So we're two days behind. That thickened up. Beautifully. Oh, that's going to be a good celebration dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Pasture raised organic fed chicken. And the chicken stock in there 
is even homemade from our pasture raised organic fed chickens. You just can't get any better than that. Let's take the food scraps for making the stew and go give them to the pigs. Yep. They're actually in the behind the pen sleeping. They'll come running. One's behind the pen and one's in the pen in the tote. Here come spots. What are you doing? Better watch out, Mrs. Pigs is right behind you. She's pulling up the rear. These ladies don't like to share. Where'd you get your manners from, huh? Oh, Mrs. Pigs, just get in there and grab a tomato. They like the little bit of chicken broth I had in there. They know the good stuff. Miss Libby's came home with a cold or something tonight. You gotta eat your chicken stew. It's good for you. I said this morning she wasn't feeling good. Yeah. Well, she felt like she was catching something. She didn't say she wasn't feeling good. She said she thought she was getting a sore throat. Huh. Did that stuff mom gave you help at all? Uh, uh, Not even for a little while? Yeah, right. Sound out plug. This is how exciting we are getting ready to go on the live video. You ready to go on the live video? I guess so. This is how exciting we are. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> this is how exciting we are. We're over here relaxing, getting ready for the big live video to announce the giveaways, huh? Mm -hmm. You feeling any better? You don't know? Well, we'll see you on the live video. If you were there, we saw you there. How you doing? If you didn't see the video yet, I'll put a link to the video right here. And we'll see you there. Bye. Bye.